Welcome friends, it is time for Writer's Workshop. We are gonna continue talking about fictional narrative writing, but today we're gonna to focus on how we can take the body paragraph and expand our ideas. Just to recap, we know that a narrative writing is a fictional story that has a clear beginning, middle, and end. We have to develop the characters, the setting, and the problem. And of course, we have to have some kind of resolution or we need to solve that problem. And we also need to make sure that we use time order words like first, next, and then as we start writing our narrative drafts. Speaking of drafts, let's talk about the writing process. We know that when we go to write, we don't just sit down and write it out and you're done. There's, actual, there's an actual process that we have to make sure that we follow. We need to do some pre-writing, then drafting, then we'll get into revising, editing, and finally publishing. So far, we've already talked about some pre-writing and we use the trait of idea to brainstorm some, narr some narrative plot ideas. We also looked yesterday at how we organize our narratives and we, we use the trait of organization. And we understand now that when we go to organize our narratives, we have to include our introduction paragraph, which talks about our characters, our setting, and the plot or kind of a little introduction to the plot, kind of the situation. And then we get into a body paragraph. And within our body paragraphs, we have to set up what happened first. And then we go into what happened with the mix up, where it gets to the point where we know what happens next. And then finally that dun 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 moment. So the main problem. And then in body, we're also going to include the fix up, which talks about how we solved that problem. And then the last paragraph, in our narratives, of course, is gonna be the conclusion where we kind of reflect back on what happened in the body in the main part of the story, and we talk about what the characters learned from that experience. Well, I had a friend who did a simple graphic organizer, but they said, you know what, Miss Alpine, I kind of wanna take that organizer and expand it into complete sentences to see if I have enough information to go in and write my essay. And so they came up with something that looked like this. Now, remember that we have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. So it still kind of looks like a graphic organizer, but they just wanted to kind of put it into complete sentences to see if this looks good as an essay so far. So in the introduction, it says, this weekend, my dog and I went for a long walk in the hills behind my neighborhood. Here's our body paragraph. We had walked so far, I thought I heard a strange sound. I then noticed the sound was coming from a rattlesnake. We ran as fast as we could to escape the snake. And now in their conclusion, it says, it was the most exciting walk we had ever been on. Well, I told my friend, this is pretty good. I mean, in the introduction, you, set, you talk about your setting. It was last weekend and in the hills. You introduce the characters, the dog and I, and you kind of, told us a little bit about what was gonna happen, like the situation, that they were going for a walk. So pretty good. Did they set it up in their body? Yeah, told us when it began and what happened. Did they talk about the mix up or the main problem? Of course, they saw a rattlesnake, I'd be freaked out too. And then they, did this person tell us how they solved it? Yeah, they ran away from the snake. And then finally in our conclusion, they kind of reflect back and say it was pretty exciting. So technically this has all the pieces of what we would need in an essay. But I told them it still is kind of wimpy. I think we could add more details. And so this person went back and they said, Miss Alpine, how do I add details? And so I gave him these hints. I said, when we wanna go add details, we wanna expand the middle part. And that middle part's gonna be the body. And so the more information we can give within the body paragraph of our essays, the better it's gonna be. So I told the, the, my student, I said this, first, let's start by reading the details you already have in your organizer. Especially let's look at the details in the body paragraph. So the setup, the mix up, and the fix up. Then 
we're going to stop and ask ourselves, what would the character or characters in the story, what else would they do? What else would they think? What else would they feel? And what would they say for each part? So what would they do, think, feel, or say in the setup, and then in the mix-up, and then in the fix-up? And after you ask yourself those questions, let's go back to each of the setup, the mix-up, and the fix-up, and we're gonna add one or two more details for each of those parts. And I found this visual that kind of helped me out. And it says, how do writers stretch small moments? So we're gonna take like a little moment and we're gonna put a lot more detail into it. And so things that we could do is you can add some dialogue. So remember, adding dialogue is actually adding what the character might say. Another thing you might wanna do is talk about how the character is feeling and give another sentence or two to explain what that character might feel on the inside. Now, included in this and what they're feeling, you might wanna say, what is the character thinking? Because if they express what they're thinking, that also shows feeling. And then maybe we need to add a few more details about um, their action. And, and so if we can use some really strong action verbs, whoo, that's gonna add some good details to the body paragraph of your narrative essay. So remember, this is what my friend started with. This is our introduction, body, and conclusion. And I said, let's just focus on the body paragraph. And so the, they asked themselves, my student said, okay, we had walked so far, I thought I heard a strange sound. And I said, well, did you say anything when you heard the sound? Did you feel anything? Or did you do any kind of action? And then they jotted down some ideas. Then we went to the mix up and I said, Okay, they noticed the sound was coming from a rattlesnake. Oh man, I bet they could talk about how they felt right there because I know how I would feel if I saw a rattlesnake. And so maybe we can give some more details about that. And then finally with the fix up, they were running and escaping. Huh, I wonder if we can add more details about the action. Did they run and jump? Were they going in a zigzag? And so maybe we can add some more details there. So my friend, the student went back and they started writing. And they started expanding and creating one to two more details on the setup, the mix-up, and the fix-up. And here's what they came up with. So let's read this again. This weekend, my dog and I went for a long walk in the hills behind my neighborhood. We had walked so far, I thought I heard a strange sound. Look at how they expanded. Look at the next sentence. Did you hear that rattling sound? I whispered to my dog. I then noticed the sound was coming from a rattlesnake. Here's how they expanded. I was in complete shock and shaking with fright. Ooh, good details. And finally, look at the fix up. We ran as fast as we could away from the snake. We zoomed through the bushes and jumped over rocks until we were safely back at home with no snake in sight. It was the most exciting walk we had ever been on. And I told my friend, wow, this looks so much better. Now I can imagine more of the details in your story, in that setup, in that mix up, in that fix up. And this, to me, by adding just those details, you have so much more in that body paragraph. So remember, when you go in and you look at something you wrote, you want to think about the body paragraphs. And if you have a setup, a mix up, and a fix up, what details can you add to expand and give more information? And I want you to keep thinking of each one of these for your setup. Could you add maybe something that the character said? Did they feel something? Or did they do any specific action? Then go to your mix-up and you're going to ask yourself the same thing. You're going to read it, then stop and say, did this character say anything, feel anything, or do any additional action? And you can expand and add that information. And then finally, go to your fix-up. And ask yourself again, what else could I add? Did the character say something, feel something, or do any other actions? And that's how you can get details to expand on each part of the body. So for your writing assignment today, let me escape out of here so you can see what this looks like. You're going to go into your Google Classroom, and we're going to look at another example of one of my students' writings. And I need your help. You need to help this student expand on their body paragraph in the setup, the mix-up, and the fix-up. 
So the writing assignment is right here in this blue box when you take a look. And it says, you need to stretch or expand the body of the narrative organizer by adding dialogue, feeling, thoughts, or actions to each part of the body paragraph. So for each part, the setup, the mix up, and the fix up, I want you to add one sentence that would happen next. So let's take a look at what it says and maybe come up with some ideas. It begins like this. It was a first day of school and everything was going great until lunchtime. I had just gotten my lunch. As I walked with my tray of food to the lunch tables, I felt something slippery under my feet. <gasps> okay, friends, so what could you write that would expand on this setup? You're walking with a tray of food and something slippery under your feet. Do you think you could add what the character might say? How they were feeling? Or maybe an action where their feet moving and sliding all over the place? Okay, whatever you think they could do, you're gonna click here and you're going to type in what happened after that. So what did they say? What did they feel? Or what actions occurred, okay? Then next, look at your mix up. I fell right to the ground and my food fell everywhere around me. Oh man, if I fell right to the ground, I'm sure I can have one more sentence that might say how I was feeling at that moment. So do you think you can add a sentence by clicking here and typing that in? And then finally, look at the fix up. My best friend came and helped me up. Whew, how, what do you think you might say? Because now if we need to add another sentence, I think good dialogue, maybe you're gonna say something to your friend here, okay? Or again, you could talk about your feeling or your actions. And then their last part here, the conclusion says, even though it was, I was totally embarrassed, I was glad I had a friend to help me out. So remember friends, this is a pretty good outline. We need to help them out though and give one more sentence for each part, the setup, the mix up, and the fix up. And keep thinking what, what the character say, feel, or do next for each part. Let's go be writers.